Hi friends, Firefighter Sandy here. Wanted to talk to you about a very important topic, and that is seatbelt safety. I'm gonna do a little experiment here for you. Uh, I have a little car, and the person in the front is wearing a seatbelt. The person in the back is not wearing a seatbelt. And let's see what happens when it goes down the ramp. Oh. always wear your seatbelt. Friends, here we are in the back of car four with firefighter Sandy. She's gonna demonstrate her seatbelt here. You put it across your lap and it goes across your shoulder so that it fits properly and it should be snug and not too loose. Kids, I know sometimes the seatbelt can be uncomfortable and you might wanna put it behind your head. You might wanna put your arm around it or through it. While you might feel safe driving that way, that is not how a seatbelt is meant to be used and it will hurt you if you get in a car crash that way. It will not protect you like it's supposed to if you get in a car crash that way. There's a lot of Friends, there's lots of times the fire department and the police department work together. The one time I guarantee we hate responding to the same call is whenever we show up to a crash and there's a child that's hurt because they're not wearing their seatbelt appropriately or they're not even wearing a seatbelt. Parents, if you get on some of the state websites, you can check out exactly what type of um, booster seat or five-point harness your child should be wearing based on their age and their weight. Please check that out and make sure your kids are safe. Thanks and have a good day.